from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Local airline company Comair has commissioned a new flight simulator at its training centre in Kempton Park, east of Johannesburg. Keith Campbell has the story. Comair is the operator of the British Airways brand in South Africa and the Kalula low-cost airline brand. And it recently commissioned a 75 million rand simulator for the Boeing 737-800 airliner. Commer Manager for Commercial Operations and External Training, Captain Glenn Warden, highlights the new features provided by the simulator. Well firstly, the visual system on this uh, simulator is uh, really, really impressive in the sense that it's, it's the latest version, it's 200 degrees look angle, which is uh, better than what is traditionally found in 180 degree look angles in the older generations, even down to 150 degrees with earlier models. This allows you a full zero time flight training program allowing you to do proper base training with the aircraft as if it was the real aeroplane. You do all your circuits and landings uh, on this aircraft. So the visual fidelity is really, really good. In addition to that, our systems are actual aircraft components. The majority of them are aircraft components. So if we need a spare, we can just pull it off the rack. Uh, so it's uh, as if it was an aeroplane itself. So if you needed a spare part, you go to the stores, draw the spare part and refit it. This gives us higher utilization of the simulator because uh, we don't have aircraft on ground scenarios. And then thirdly, the, the motion system is uh, from Moog Industries. It's actually a uh, electro-pneumatic system, unlike the old hydraulic powered systems that are not really that uh, environmentally friendly. Furthermore, these uh, legs that, are, that you see underneath the simulator are really, really uh, big and chunky and they are very quiet. This is 14 tons of equipment on those stilts and they uh, are move silently which allows us to do classroom exercises and uh, studies right next door. Uh, we train internally because it's very much more cost effective and we have control over our training but in addition to that our focus is on safety and you know Africa's really had a bad uh, name in terms of airline safeties so what we've elected to do, we've decided an outreach, outreach program to actually give training to other airlines, um, which range anyway from uh, Indonesia, India, Pakistan, South America, from Argentina, uh, from Peru, Colombia, and uh, a lot of uh, airlines from Africa. So we've really branched this out. And in fact, we are doing more training for external clients than we are internal. BAE Systems Land System South Africa is proposing that South Africa adopt its new RG41 vehicle as the basis of the Army's new infantry fighting vehicle. Keith Campbell reports. Under Project Proof Aster, the South African Army plans to replace its obsolete Rattle infantry fighting vehicles with the new Badger, which is based on a Finnish vehicle. But now, Land System South Africa says this should be replaced by its new RG41. I asked Company Managing Director, Johan Stein, why at such a late stage should a change be made? Well, we believe this vehicle um, suits the specification of the Hoof Eister project. We believe South Africa uh, should support its own industry. Uh, this vehicle has been designed by South African engineers in South Africa for South Africa. And we focused our design towards the South African industry to maximize the local content. So eventually we will engage the total South African industry and we will, our estimate is create 2,000 jobs plus. I think the two of the, the additional unique features of this vehicle is number one, the 11 ton payload that allows you to integrate almost any weapon system onto this vehicle or use that payload to increase your um, survivability, your, uh, your armor. Secondly, um, we have increased the wheel size, so your mobility is, is, is much better. It's powered by a, a 400 kilowatt engine, which gives you the power you need. And I've said before, the landmine protection is uh, based on our world famous protection technology and we have used our latest technology which we have integrated into this vehicle which makes it unique as it was designed uh, from a clean sheet of paper. 
Other news making headlines this week includes the theory that climate change is possibly our biggest distraction and Sassel's capital expenditure, which is flowing again as the crisis ebbs. Climate change is possibly the world's biggest distraction, but it is not its biggest and most immediate challenge, says Wits University's School of Geosciences Platinum Industry Igneous Petrology Professor Grant Cawthorn. We should not lose sight of trying to control carbon emissions, either their initial emission or in, in capturing once they have been uh, released. But there are issues of water and pollution which are very, very imminent and which need to be addressed. And they, if, if we haven't got fresh water, that's going to have a lot more effect than whether we have a one or two degree rise in temperature. JSE-listed petrochemicals group Sassel, which is South Africa's largest fixed investor, has materially ramped up its capital expenditure outlook for the coming two years, having pulled back on some investment programs during the global economic crisis. We, we are spending a lot of money on capital. Luckily we have that money, we have a strong balance sheet and we have strong cash flow to support it. And we have a w wonderful uh, set of opportunities that we can go after with, with good returns. So we, in this financial year, we'd expect, including the acquisition that we made, to expend something like 26 billion rand. And that's pretty much where we were pre-crisis. So we're certainly on our way. In fact, the crisis, in the, during the crisis, we did not cut back on, on any significant cap, capital expenditure. So, uh, but we certainly are recovering and it's because we have this great opportunity. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. For 30 years, Crema Media's engineering news has delivered unmatched insight into South Africa's real economy. Subscribe now and go to engineeringnews.co.za for the real economy in real time. Engineering news, not just for engineers.